The African students trapped in Ukraine have said they may face extra challenges as they try to escape. They've been blocked from getting off trains or and barred from crossing borders to neighboring countries. Roughly 20% of Ukraine's foreign students are Africans, including 4,000 Nigerians. African activists and students have been raising awareness of their plight through the Twitter hashtag Africans in Ukraine. They've also created a group chat on WhatsApp and Telegram to organize assistance. Some of my friends are still there and I'm very worried. I text them to know how they're doing, if they have food or water, because right now the stores are closed. Yeah, so and the attacks are getting worse. Very, very worse. And hopefully they get out of Ukraine safe and no harm comes upon them. We could see the um, bomb in the tree where it exploded right near my house. So if I did not leave that day, it would have been a problem for me to leave. And now as people are trying to leave, the, the transportation is getting more expensive. They are saying um, $700 to get to um, Uzgorod from Lviv for yeah. a taxi. So yeah. it's getting really, really expensive. People have left the city. And if you're quite there alone, it's going to be hard to communicate with people and also get things like like, like I said, resources and all of that. And a so, place to sleep. And a place to sleep, especially... People haven't slept in days. Yeah, people haven't, haven't slept. slept. And most people go to the underground metros, the metro station to stay there, and it is very cold, uncomfortable, and it's really not a nice place to be in yeah, at night. It I is very... In the metro too, it is very time. cold. It is not... It's very, very cold in there, and not nice to be in. Yeah. But we have no choice to stay there, because we could hear the bombings in my city. <laughs> Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.